have when they can't get their, you know, their peering session up with a backbone, they realize they've used the wrong addressing. And it does happen. Okay, so scrambling things up are good. You know, so that's why it's a good example sometimes to maybe jump on, you know, a remote, even if you have your own equipment, jump on a, you know, a rack vendor, rent one session. You do, do a lab on that rack vendor. Then for your next lab, do it on a different rack vendor. It's going to scramble things up. How you connect is going to be different. You know, the hardware is going to be a little bit different. And, you know, and because when you go in the CCA lab, it's going to be a little bit different again. But you're used to that, though. All right. But as far as hardware goes, whatever you do, don't spend money on a 3025 for the RNS CCA lab. I personally use, like my development rack, uh, I use a 28. I use it 12821, which gives me the gigabit Ethernets, which are in the 3825s. But you really don't need that. You can get away with a 2811. Uh, you, you can I'd really stay away from the 2801, though. There is a lot of limited features on the 2801. But you can go with a 3640, a 3660, a 3725, a 3745. But like the, the 3725, I mean, that thing is like about 1100 bucks used. Still a little expensive. 2610 XMs, which you can get 124T, you can get those for about 150 bucks or 200 bucks on eBay, US dollars. You maybe and maybe if they're loaded up with flash and DRAM, maybe you're going to spend 295 or 300. But you know you can get I think 48 flash and 256 DRAM in those if you do the boot ROM upgrade. The standard boot ROM gives you 32 flash and 128 DRAM, uh, which is good enough for 124 you know, 12 for advanced enterprise plus whatever you want to run. But if you want to get, you know, if you want to say, hey, I want to make sure my rack works for the next iOS upgrade, 12.4T or possibly 12.5, you probably want to get the, the boot ROM upgrade too. And usually you can get those free from TAC if you're using 2600 XM. All right, well, like I said, if you're concerned about the hardware you're going to use for the CCA lab, the router hardware, go to www.cisco.com front slash go front slash FN which is the feature navigator. You can go there and compare your hardware platform, iOS image, with the hardware platform, iOS image, like you know, they're talking about using in the CCA lab, or with the one we use for our workbook. You can just go and compare that. You can compare them side by side, and they'll tell you what features are unique to your image and features that are unique to the other image. Definitely really good to do. And you'll be surprised that, hey, you know, if you, if you compare the 3640, you know, and with it's like a two hundred dollar router or three hundred dollar router with a thirty eight twenty five, which is a five or six thousand dollar router, from the RNS lab perspective, there's there's like you know it's ninety nine point nine percent the same. There's very few features that you need to worry about. Actually, I, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I, I think there maybe is one small difference between the two. But other than that, you know, from the RNS perspective, you know, you're not going to have to worry about the two different platforms now. There will be a lot of hardware support for the 3825 that's not supporting 3640, and you may get scared at the unique features. But when you start reading it, you're like, okay, wireless card, you know, you know, with different modules, you know, and so forth. That's okay. We're not worried about that. We're looking at Ethernet and frame relay. We're not worried about all the other cards that the 3640 doesn't support. Okay, the switches. Still to this day, the 3550s are on the CCA Lab equipment list. So the 3550, you can definitely run into in the CCA lab. You may get in there and you may have a rack of two 3550s and two 3560s. You may have a rack of two, you know, of one 3550 and three 3560s. You may possibly have a rack of four 3560s. More than likely, you're going to probably run into a rack that has a little bit of a mix of the two. Now, is there much difference between the two? Mm -mm, probably not. Uh, you know, actually, uh, the, we actually do a comparison next. We show you the actual com differences between the two. There's not a lot of fundamental differences between the two. 95% of the features or 90% of the features are the same, but there is some differences between the two. So could you get away in your CCA lab with using the 3550 for practice? Yes. Then what do you do? You go towards the end of your preparation and then go on a rack vendor. Uh, a rack rental company that uses 3560s and look at the differences. Then spend time with configuring IPv6 on a 3560, configuring multicast on a 3560, which is just enabled differently. Any particular features, um, uh, flex links is one of them. Uh, you know, uh, definitely QoS is a little bit different between the two. You know, but other than that, you know, there's really is not a lot uh, difference between the two. The price difference between the two. The 3550 runs about eight nine hundred used. 
Uh, that would be the lower range, about 1,000 used is about average, but you can get it for about 800, 850 used. Uh, the 3560 you really don't find used. It's still a very popular device. And you can get that uh, new for, I want to say, around $1,700. It's about $1,700. The 2811 I mentioned, which is the definitely one of the ideal platforms you could use in the CCA lab preparation, especially if you want a good resale value when it's over with. The 2811, you can get the base model for about $1,450. Um, you can also use the 3750 switches. The 3750 switches is just a stackable version of the 3560. So, you know, that'll definitely work. But like I said, if you're worried about, you know, will your hardware platform work, you know, go and compare it with the feature navigator. You can compare two iOS versions and feature sets, two different router platforms <laughs> side by side and see which ones are different there or what the differences are. Okay, the, real quick, this is available on our website here. I went through the IO, actually on our website there's a little bit more detail. I went through the 3550 and the 3560 iOS that's used in the CCA lab and I compared which features and which commands were really on which box, supported on which box. Some people, you know, someone mentioned, hey, you just copied that off Cisco's website. I'm like, yeah, where does it, what do you find on Cisco's website where they actually compared com feature by feature and command by command? So that's what that link there will take you uh, uh, to that there. These are the basic features that are supported. Private VLANs, we're not worried about power or Ethernet. Uh, SDM is actually conf uh, supported on the 3550. Power Ethernet, we're not worried about. IGMP throttling, you know, very s uh, simple feature. IPv6, of course. But once you know IPv6, you don't need to worry about it from a switch perspective. Why? Because it's still, you know, you're routing IPv6. That's what it's saying. We can route IPv6 on the 3560s. Uh, private VLANs, uh, QoS based on VLANs, uh, shape round robin. That QoS part did change. There is QoS added, uh, 3560 QoS added to the class on demand in the most recent version. But other than there's auto NDIX, which is just, it, it can detect if you've got a straight through cable or a crossover cable. But other than that, it's, you know, it's definitely pretty much the same. If you go up to the documentation that I have listed there, you'll see the actual iOS commands that are different. Okay, this is the biggest part of preparing for the CCA lab. No matter how many classes you go to, no matter how much you spend on workbook, you're gonna have to put in the time working on the routers. So how do you do that? This is the, this is the hardest part that a lot of people face because how do you invest money in the CCA lab? You know, a lot of people get lucky, their employer buys them a rack, uh, you know, a rack of routers fall off the back of a truck one night, you know, whatever, however you get your, your rack equipment. Maybe you've got friends that work at Cisco that give you access to uh, different top, you know, different rack of equipment. And actually now they're building, uh, they're, they're building internally a lot of topologies, a lot more racks inside of Cisco for like the different CCA preparation programs that are using our topology. So we're helping them go through that. So you possibly can get through your, your, uh, your SE access to our, a, a rack that supports our topology through your Cisco SE. That'll be around uh, pretty soon. I know they're putting in some racks now. All right, rack rentals is one of them. You can definitely rent rack time. You can build your own rack, or you can use Dynamaps. A lot of people, you know, they, a lot of people say, "Well, I don't want to use a virtual router." It's not using a virtual router. It's 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 actual. Okay, it is a virtual router, but it's an actual iOS virtualization software. It's not a flash emulator like you get from Boson or, you know, or uh, KnowledgeNet where they got these little flash emulators. It's an actual iOS virtualization. You actually run the same iOS. So there's definitely uh, different options. The rack rental option, it, it's, it's a good option. Uh, definitely I recommend you mix it up. Even if you have your own rack, you have access to your own rack, I recommend you mix it up a little bit and go ahead and uh, rent some rack time on a, a few different vendor, uh, not vendors, but rack rental companies and, you know, just so, you know, you're not, you know, you know stuck with using a particular topology, a particular, you know, uh, addressing structure and so forth there. Definitely good to scramble it up towards the end. Dynamaps I'll mention here. Dynamaps is actually one of the most popular pages on our website. One of the most popular pages on our website. Why is that? Because it's like VMware for 
the iOS.